All right, guys, welcome back to Garage Vibes today. We're bringing you another RC, and we can't wait to show you what's inside here. We're doing this for you guys. Let's tear this box open and show you what's inside here. Look in here, guys. Look at that. We got an RC for you guys. Look what we got for you guys. All right, guys, so we got a Gen 8 Red Cat Scout 2. Now we're going to take this out of the box and we're going to take it on the trail and we'll give you a really good run straight from the box. And we're going to tell you as we go by if this Red Cat is really good on the trail. If you're thinking about getting one of those, we're going to give you all the ins and outs that we find as we go along and tell you about it. We're going to go inside it and show you what's going on. This is a crawler and it comes with the radio, four wheel drive, you got portal axles. It's got a lot of things going on with this Gen 8. Cool about this Red Cat, it's come with all waterproof electronics it's ready to run right off the box all you got to put in it is a battery and take it on the trail and it will do its thing for you come with aluminum sovo horn metal sovo that is really cool that the red cat give us so much included in here that is cool this is thing that we always had to upgrade on other rc's so we can't wait to test it out and see how that aluminum sovo horn work with the metal sovo gears you know so let's see how it goes the 2.4 gigahertz we come with a brush motor 17 550 motor it's a four wheel drive we got portal axles comes with really really upgrades that we always love to see an RC comes with and you also have steel arms under it so that is really cool as I said before we're gonna test this thing out on the trail and give you all the ins and outs about it as we go along let's open up this guy there we go all right look at that guys look at that beautiful orange truck we got the manual we got some portal axles in here pieces of gears we got some body mounts and all that we got some cool accessories in here all right let's move on let's get this body out whoa guys look at that orange yeah the body is not too flexible it's very firm i like that very very firm so it's not going to rattle and make any noises now one of the things that i noticed here guys we got velcro to hold on the body on the chassis so we got no body mounts holding down this body it's a new idea right here i like that and we got spaces for the lights the lights right here we're going to be taking five millimeter lights in here so it's ready set up to get the lights going i like that guys headlamps takes two bulbs on each side five millimeter bulb and at the back we get the brake light the reverse light and let's see how much lights it's going to take at the back here it's going to take three lights same five millimeter we got a body brace right here we got the wheel wells we got cool decals a door handle a little thing for the key to go in yep we're looking good guys orange and black with silver on the door on the windows we get a mirror mirrors can open and fold back that is really cool we got the fender well nice and durable all right let's move to the next step all right so let's take this out of the box and get down inside it and give you some specs how this works guys so we have some silver tow hooks we got two up front two at the back and as we hear on the bumper the bumper is very durable guys the plastic is very very hard and nice we got space for lights we got two lights on each side of the bumper that is really nice I like that they give you that option on the bumper all right so here we got metal sovo gears in here that sovo is metal gears in there and that is really cool and it come with a metal sovo horn let me lift this up and show you metal sovo horn right here that is really cool and as we hear we got steel links all these links here guys is steel this axle piece right here where all the gears is, is metal that is really cool i like that so we got a lot of metal going on here let me show you underneath the vehicle dry shaft is plastic but we got a metal piece right here and i really like the beefiness of the links nice portal axles i love that really cool to have a metal sovo arm metal sovo gears inside the sovo now the tires let me tell you about the tires whoa tires are really nice and soft guys it's got vented holes in it so the air can easily come out we got a really nice ton radius here very very good and that is looking really nice the ton is really cool i can hear the metal gears inside of the sovo and the tires guys is interco super swampers really nice beefy grips on the tires nice and soft this is really cool tires guys i love that that tire looks like you're really gonna grip on the rocks and the dirt it could do really well and one of the things i really love about this red cat right here guys they give you real aluminum bead locks now guys trust me you don't see that too often on horses that's an upgrade that you got to do for yourself but we got real bead locks right here guys we got metal around it the inside is plastic but they give you real aluminum around here and we got this screw right here 
here you can unscrew this and you will see the, the nut so you can take off the wheel if you want to so they're protected by this hubcaps nut right here that is really nice all right let's move up now to talk about the shocks we got metal shocks but we got metal springs we got some metal in the shocks that is nice 550 motor really cool the battery compartment is hold on by velcro really nice the radio box is protected with plastic guys and this esc here is a crawler esc from hobby wing got your switch right here to turn it on esc is waterproof guys even the the steering servo is waterproof so all electronics the receiver box is waterproof that is really cool they set this up really nice so we can put this in water and let's talk a little about this wheel well right here the velcro on the four ends of the of the wheel well is for the body to sit down so we got no body mounts holding on this body on the chassis we got rock sliders very very firm plastic feel very durable is a lot of things going on with this red cat that makes it so great guys and on the shocks here we got extra spaces that you can adjust the shocks to how you like you can shift it you see all these little holes right here you can shift the shocks mount to where you want to make it fit your style of driving that is really cool and you can do this on all four shocks that is really really cool i like that yeah all right red cat do your thing red cat logo at the back here the transfer case i don't know guys if you can see between here the transfer case got metal plate on the front of it so it's very durable that is nice so there's a lot going on here with the red cat we got metal chassis yeah very beefy i like that now let's check the the spring on the shocks oh that is cool the twist the flex on it it's really cool can you see that guys look at that yeah let me lift up the wheel and show you yeah the axle is going up inside there really nice let's do the front one yep good travel very good travel here i like that so the plastic feel very durable on the red cat feel very firm and stable yeah i like a lot of things about this red cat so far i haven't put it in a trail yet but i love in a lot of things about it yeah the turning radius guys really nice really really nice super swampers beautiful yep bead locks aluminum nice okay guys so now you know what left to do with this truck we're gonna put a battery in here but before we put a battery we're gonna get the radio out and talk about the radio so let me just rest the cover here this is what your truck look like beautiful beautiful truck all right guys so what comes in the box we get a spare tire that is very beautiful to have a spare tire from red cat that is real cool let's move on to the radio let's get the radio out of the box and talk a little bit about the radio we gotta pop this out here like so all right there we go radio is out all right guys right off the box i gotta tell you the radio feel very very nice holding it in my hand it feels very good i love that very very good the grip feel very nice extremely light guys all right let's check the bunks back on the steering wheel oh man that is cool very slick very very slick we got a nice rubber coating right here give you that nice feel that you can grab it really nice now pulling the trigger back here back and forth very easy to pull back and forth we got some red or orange you know red cat is all over the radio is really good we don't have a big antenna we got this small piece of antenna right here they have the radio really slick guys and right here is where all your function is now your on and off button is right here all right guys so this is steering reverse switch right here and this is binding and this is throttle reverse this little knob right here is steering trim and this one right here is throttle trim and this guy right here steering dual rate so now we tell you about the radio guys you know it's time to put the battery in here so underneath here we got the battery compartment you take four batteries and we're gonna put four batteries in here and get this thing ready to take on the trail let's get a battery inside of the truck guys and get rolling this is the battery we're going to put inside the red cat it's 11.1 volt 5200 milliamp 50 cc all right so it's a lipo battery two cell we're going to throw this in here for you guys and take it on the trail now i gotta mention guys on the red cat it looks really cool that we don't see any body poles sticking out of the body that's really neat so the velcro did a number on this truck here let's get this off and see the newness of this vehicle look at that guys look at that let's pop the body off Velcro, easy like that and we out let's get this battery in here for you guys we can just slide it in here like that velcro working really nice guys and we just plug this in there we go all right so we turn on the radio radio is on and now we're going to turn the esc on right here 
and we got some juice right there let's check the steering yeah nice all right I'll give it a little juice there you go all right guys so far it's really slick the radio is really slick I like it so far the truck moved very smooth and now we're gonna pop the body on it so let's put the body on guys it's very simple to put on just like that got no headaches Volcro doing his job for you and that is beautiful mirrors open them up yeah nice just like that guys Alright guys, this is your manual from Red Cat and let's check out the accessories. We got an extra piece of plug right here. We got some extra wheel caps. We got some pieces of accessories right here. We're gonna have to lay this down for you guys. And we got extra axles, total axles pieces right here, the gears. Some extra screws to screw on. That would be the body mounts and this is the pieces to hold the body mounts together. So this piece right here guys is to hold the body mount so you can push the pin through the holes. And this is what this piece for and right here this is some extra pieces I want to believe like they're going like so and you can push the pin here or the screws you would have to screw this on and get it in place. So this is what this extra four is here for for all the body mounts and that's what it is. And this gushy rubber piece right here and we got some portal axles gears right here and this is all that we got in the box extra accessories so this is about it guys this is your accessories what comes in the box this piece right here is a body mount for the spare tire you're going to lift this up right here you have to pass it through the body here and get it through here and that will hold up your spare tire at the back all right guys so we have this piece right here for the aerial just going to push that through like so and stick it down here and that's your piece so you can get your signal standing up in the air and you put the body on just like so just hold him down and the velcro doing his job that's it all right guys so you're ready to put it down so we can get the very first run and we're going to tell you how we like this vehicle if you should get something like this so let's go put it down start running <laughs>
all right guys so far the red cat is doing his thing trust me the, the controller is a little bit swift you got to be very very easy on the throttle but so far it's crawling really good when I try it on high speed kind of swerving a bit because it feels like the steering is not stable so it's want to dance so it's more crawler but so far guys the red cat is a really good performer as you see on the rocks we're doing really good so let's continue and climb up this hill on the rocks and see how it does All right guys, so the servo is pulling really good, fairly good. Not the best, not the worst. It's pulling really good. When I turn it, you can see it's doing its thing. It's not getting buying up so far. So we're having a good time with the Red Cat Gen 8. All right, let's continue and we'll give you the review as we go by. So you can make a choice if you really want to get one of these vehicles. So far, I like it. Let's continue.
All right, guys, let me just tell you a little bit of Janet. He's really doing his thing. He's light on his feet, the trigger, very easy. As you touch it, you want to jump. So you gotta control it with your finger. It's not that smooth on the lever. As you touch it, you wanna go. But as long as you get a hold of the controller, you can do this. He climbing the rocks like a boss. You see, we get a couple flip over. You know, it's really, you have to find the good lines. As long as you find the good lines, the truck going to climb and do his thing for you. The Super Swampers is really working. The truck is beautiful. You know, we had us to put it through its paces, guys. So don't mind that we bang it up on the first run. This is what he about. This is what we come out here to show you that if you're really interested in trucks like this, this is a good truck for the price that you worth. This is a good truck out of the box with metal gears, a lot of metal below it. We have aluminum bead locks. You know, it's really cool. I like the truck, guys. Don't forget to put your money in this truck if you're interested. It's a good truck. All right, let's take it on the trail again and give you some more excitement.
Yo guys, this is the end of the show and the Gen 8 Red Cat, we like it. It is a good vehicle. But one of the things I don't like about it, the steering is very loose. There's a lot of play up front in the steering, so you dance -y. That's the only thing I didn't like. And one more thing I didn't too like is that as you touch it, you're ready to give that go. For crawling, she going that easy going to get that smooth crawling. But other than that guys, the vehicle is perfect for the price. Trust me, you get a lot out of this vehicle for the price that it costs. And in the end of the show guys, I really like it. Trust me. The radio is nice. You get a nice feel towards it. I really like the radio. I think it's a good vehicle. But that's all my little qualms with it. You know, it's kind of twisty in the front. But that's all guys. We appreciate you hanging out with Garage Vibes. Thank you. Please give a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe. Tell a friend. And we'll see you in the next one. We out.